All right, it's that time again, time for the solo over Nighter in the Woods. This video is gonna be different. It's a two-part video wrapped into one over a period of two days. Let's get to it. So today's video, like I mentioned, is gonna be a two-part series, all wrapped into one video. We're gonna make a tarp and then we're gonna use that tarp. So I got a nine by 12, eight ounce canvas tarp. We have a grommet kit. And we have some low odor mineral spirits. So there's an easier way to do this. You can simply soak it in a bucket, but this is a 9 by 12 and I don't have a bucket large enough or a barrel to soak this bad boy in. Not to mention 5 to 10 gallons of that mineral spirits. So we're going to do it the harder way, but with the spray bottle, you see it's almost the same as brushing it on. It's just a little bit faster. So we'll go ahead and finish this bad boy out and then let her dry. You can almost see on here where you need a little bit more. And that cotton canvas soaks it in pretty quick. And you know you've been waiting for it. Big board, right to hand. Small board, left to hand. Up, down. Up, down. Up, down. Lock wrist. In through the nose, out through the mouth. If you like what you see here, please do me a favor. Hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. Then take it a step further, grab your cell phone, download the free YouTube app, and sign in. This will give you push notifications when my new videos drop. All right, we got that 
nice uniform color. It's soaked all the way through to the opposite side. To be safe, if you want to do the opposite side, go ahead. But a 9 by 12 will take about one gallon. So something to think about. And we did all this for about $41 and change. So add another gallon to that, you're looking at probably around 50 and change. Something to think about as well. But we'll let this bad boy dry and then take her out for an overnight. All right, so here we are the next day. The tarp still smells like chemicals. However, we're going to make it work. Now, real quick, my previous build from two builds ago, the Skyrim build. It's going to be shelved. It's going to be scrapped, abandoned. The views were the lowest in probably four and a half years. That tells me that people don't want to see a video game build. So what I'm going to do is I have the existing structure. We're going to redesign it, repackage it, rename it, and then we're going to build it. So look forward to that in the future. Alright, so last thing here, I'm thinking we tie a horizontal across here, and then my opposite side, and then pull the tarp over it and stake it down, and that should work out well.
and I gave you Corporal's sausage, egg, and cheese. Look at that dripping off there. Mm -mm -mm. Catch you all in a few. Yes, sir. We're gonna get down to low 30s tonight, so wool blanket will be good to go. The reason for that, the back end is open, so a breeze could blow through here. I'm hoping that the heat blows through there as well, and the smoke vents out, but we'll see how it goes. Everything out here in the woods you want to be multi-use. We have our anvil that we use to chop wood, now it becomes a table. I can slide the bed all the way to one side, leave room for my gear or firewood. As always, all the gear in my videos can be found in two places. One my Amazon Influencer page and two my Stuff Alliance Outfitters Influencer page. If you're interested in Corporal's Corner merchandise, that can be found on Teespring. All three links are found inside my description box. Okay, before we get started here, uh, one thing I forgot to do last night was give a shout out to a fellow YouTuber, fellow Pathfinder instructor, Jake Trent. His YouTube channel is called Jake Trent. Um, he's about 20 years old, did all the classes, great heart, great desire, determined, um, out there doing overnighters and skills on YouTube. Uh, but unfortunately, like most YouTubers, he's not being seen or heard. So check him out, Jake Trent. Tell him I sent you, give him a like, give him a subscribe, boost his channel, get him seen and heard. Once again, that's Jake Trent. Got a few sprinkles going on right there. Let's go ahead and talk about our shelter. Um, simple painter's drop cloth, 9 by 12 We used grommets on the ends with a homemade grommet kit and treated it with mineral spirits. Now, you can use linseed oil as well. Whoa, hot one going on there. The linseed oil, in my opinion, is a better choice. It's more expensive in some cases, but it's a lot stickier to deal with. And sometimes it doesn't coat as well, but you won't get that alcohol smell like uh, it's just really you can smell the chemicals on this thing. I was hoping for rain, um, but it is what it is. I announced this last week and I've got probably about 150 messages, that's conservative, 150 at least, at least, telling me they're going to refuse to watch because it's not me in the woods and they hate shorts. Well, refusing to watch further hurts my watch time and it's just gonna to contribute to what YouTube's currently doing. So I'm trying to find favor with YouTube again. I'm asking for your help. I'm giving you free information midweek. It takes a whole whopping one minute. Please watch the shorts. Um, it's extra work that I'm doing to save my channel. And I appreciate the help. And there's the rain, 0511. It's supposed to rain last night so we could test our tarp out, and it did not. But unfortunately, it's going to rain right now at the end of our video. But it is what it is. So, the last thing, really quick, I want to talk about is it was brought to my attention um, that when you watch my videos, 
ads appear, which we already knew that, but there's an ad for Corporal's Corner Amazon page. It says 70% off. Well, I've never run ads on YouTube. So if you're seeing Corporal's Corner store saying 70% off, click here. That's not me. It's somebody impersonating me. It's somebody with an Amazon store who's making money off me, off my name, off my channel. I say three times in my videos, all my links are in the description box. So if you're not going to the description box, you're not going to my links. Okay, so you're supporting somebody who's making money off of my name. So he's been reported two or three times. YouTube doesn't care. Facebook doesn't care because they're making money. So it is what it is. But if you want to support me, my links are inside my description box. <sighs> All right, so let's go ahead and end this bad boy off. More great things to come. With that, all the gear in my videos can be found in three places. One, my Amazon Influencer page, and two, my Self-Reliance Outfitters Influencer page. If you're interested in Corporal's Corner merchandise, that can be found on Teespring. All three links are found inside my description box. Now, please do me a favor. Hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. And as always, thank you for your comments, views, and support. Thanks for watching. Get out the field, have some fun, I'm going to catch you next time. Now it's time for Corporal's final thoughts. Okay, let's talk about procrastination or procrastinating. How's the saying go? Why push off till tomorrow what you can do today? And that rings true with every aspect of your life, your relationship, your with your significant other, your family, friends, home life, work life, career, hobbies, um, YouTube, if you're a YouTuber. Um, if you have extra time, you get a lot more done. Some people work an eight-hour day, 12-hour day, four 12s, six 12s. I was on a few jobs where I worked seven 12s for four weeks straight. Then we get one day off, a six-day work week, and you're like, ooh and ah, I got a day off. I can get things done. Um, in the end, it comes down to what we talked about last week, the input-output. If you're working 12-hour days and getting nothing done, you're spinning your wheels. You're like a washing machine, doing a lot of work but you're going nowhere. Procrastinating is never good in any aspect of your life because in the end, it's gonna cost you. I'll make my lunch in the morning. Well, then you wake up groggy, exhausted, maybe you drank too much the night before, stumble outside, forgot your lunch. Now you starve or you gotta pay money at a restaurant. Simple things. I didn't lay my clothes out in the morning. Now you gotta stumble around in the dark, try not to wake up your wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, etc. They wake up, they're punished because of you. Simple things. The simple things make up the big picture. The more simple things you can get done daily, by the end of the week, you have room for more activities, so to speak. You have more free time. So think about that. Why push off till tomorrow? what you can do today. With that, take care of yourself. Enjoy your week. We'll catch you next time.